Okay, historically, hanger boxes have been your best bang for your buck. So we're going to see how much bang for these $11.99 boxes I think they were at Wally World. I'm not quite sure. I know they're more expensive at Walmart compared to Target. Vice versa. But good news nowadays, in the sports world at least, <laughs> is baseball's back. So... Don't go anywhere at the end of this video, by the way. I'll be giving away some of these cards. I'll choose probably three of these cards, like we've done in videos past. And comment below on which card you would like. And I'll announce a winner sometime next week. Hopefully that wasn't muffled, but we're gonna get some more looks. This is my second time opening 2022. I opened a jumbo box and that was that was it. So this is the first time I saw these on the shelves and snatched them up. But definitely good to have baseball back. A lot of rule changes, a lot we've already know, knew about. There's a first rookie card of Curtis Terry. Others seem to be kind of implemented. I think a big one that no one's talking about, and I don't know all the information about it, is the fact that in 2023, there's going to be an automatic strike zone and larger bases. I don't know what that necessarily means. But that uh, automatic strike zone is something everyone's kind of been, I guess, a minor league has been had it into play for a while. But yeah, that's going to be interesting. I guess, obviously, the, the obvious for this season is going to be the DH and the NA, or the, NA, the NL. I don't know what the NA is. National League is getting the DH, which we all knew. There's 12 playoff teams, and they are abandoning the runner on second and in extra innings, which was, that I, I mean, yes, it kind of sped up extra innings, but it took away from the, kind of the, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> the, the coaching, the, uh, well, I lost my train of thought there, tactics. I can't, I can't speak. Loss of words. I'm losing it. We'll get there. Apologies. Aaron Ashby. Another rookie card. Uh, draft lottery is being implemented. And I guess they're going to be doing advertising on jerseys. Here's our first foil. It's a Quito Marte. Fortunately, no rookie foil. That would be our first parallel. Shohei Itani's hitting our 87. Redo design there. Not a bad name to have on that. And following up with that team is Mike Trout, stars of MLB. We got a rookie card version of this with Wander Franco hits our first Wander sighting. See how he does this year. A lot of eyes on him, of course. Garrett Cole. Jazz Chisholm, second year. Stars of... That's a... Foil version, I believe. No, they're all foil. This one just looked a little bit different. We have a backwards. I'm not quite sure why that was backwards die cut. Diamond greats of Ernie Banks. Don't really care for those too much. And we're hitting back into our base. Where we're just going to try to find some rookie cards heading throughout this. And the 2023 season also, I guess, had some other... Let's see, every single team will play each other from here on out. I guess there's also that uh, pitch clock, and they're getting rid of the defensive shifts. I'm not quite sure how they're going to implement that, <laughs> honestly. Is there going to be a certain, like, square area where they can't really, you know, go? How, is there, like, zoning or something? How do you How do you actually implement that? I don't understand because it's a field and there's no lines, you know, within where a base, you know, a player can position themselves. It doesn't really make sense. It's, I get it. It takes away from the thrill and atmosphere of the game, but um, I guess it goes back to, you know, tactics and coaching and managing and all that. It, I don't know. There's times are changing, that is for sure. I don't know whether they're 
for the better or not, haven't really created an opinion on any of it, but some of them, I guess. I mean, I don't, I don't mind the the DH and the NL. I've always been an N NL fan, just because my Giants. We actually did make the first move today with uh, Radon signed a two-year from the White Sox. So we have a lefty in our rotation. Eduardo Escobar starting us off on this pack with a, oh, is that a, nope, thought it was. Manuel Riviera, Jared, I guess we're flipping him. A Jared Walsh, Nelson Cruz, Sammy Long. And some landscape cards. I know they like to throw these in bunches all of a sudden. Reed Detmers, rookie card there. Kevin Hayes. Now we're flipping back over. I think I kind of covered everything, I guess. Wasn't too, I'm sure there's other stuff that will come out down the line here. But yeah, spring training is starting this weekend. That's exciting. Get to watch all these players actually suit up, get going, start playing against each other. We do have a blue of the Houston Astros. Not quite the team for many. But nonetheless, do actually have a rookie foil, but of Matt Veerling. Not quite sure on his status with the club. Favorite player, Will Clark, hitting the 87 redo. Batting instead of his fielding version of the reel. That'll head to the PC. Boba Shett in his red jersey. It'd be probably plenty of average. I, I'm curious how crazy they're going to go with the advertising on the jerseys. Going to be interesting. The stars of MLB, Nolan Arenado, Jacob deGrom, and Ronald Acuna Jr. See how his ACL recovery is doing. Alex Bregman, welcome to the show. And back to our base, Joey Wendell. Martin Malin, Maldonado. I don't know where I was going with that name. It's NL Cy Young. Oh, we do have a Wander sighting. So there's another Wander. Every single Wander, this is my third one, is off to the left. As far as centering that I've seen. And this one is, I mean, it, it's very smidgen. It's not extremely noticeable. Some are... I guess easier able to tell than others, but definitely to the left, like my other two cards. A Christian Yelich. Whoa. They are running. Jackson Cower. Shane Bieber. And I don't understand why they made the rookie logo, rookie card logo, so small this year. Never seen it so small. Love that name, Lars Newt Bar. Aaron Judge, signing Cal Raleigh, not a bad name there. Luis Robert Yaz, we'll see how his year, hopefully he does not strike out as much as he did last year. Man, he struck out a lot. Another Shohei base there. A Michael Panetta, Jared Duran, nice rookie prospect there. Jose Ramirez. Possibly the notable best third baseman in the game. Jimin Choi and Victor Reyes is ending this with those two hanger boxes. So got a little idea of what to expect out of hanger boxes. The meat is within the middle. I don't know why I put Jose Ramirez in the rookie part, card pile. But let's get to... I think it many... Parallels, just those three. But let's get to what we're going to hand out, or you can choose. We'll get that Wander insert if you're interested in that. We'll get that on the table. Wander Stars of MLB. Um, 
the show. Ooh, what do I do? What do I do? I want to get one of these parallels because these are pretty notable. Decent cards. It's very difficult to find parallels, obviously, with... <laughs> I mean, there's going to be a million <laughs> of that insert. A million of all these cards, basically, besides the parallels. A little bit less. Well, if you're a Houston Astros fan or want a parallel of Houston Astros, I guess I'll have that. Probably not going to be too much. We'll do uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. Well, I feel that's. I feel like no one's going to want that Houston Astros. So let's. Yeah, there's. In between Mike Trout and Shohei, which one should I do? We already have tons of stars of MLB. Let's throw the Shohei. So, there's the three cards. Ronald Acuna Jr., Stars of MLB, Shohei Otani, 87 Redo, and a Wander Franco, Stars of MLB insert. Pick one of those three in the comment section below. Go ahead and write your preferred card, and I will choose a winner through a random comment picker in about a week from now in the upcoming video. Stay tuned for that. They're going to be opening some... 2021 playoff tomorrow and announce the Brett Favre rookie card giveaway winner in that video. Stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in the next upcoming video, which will be tomorrow. Have a good one. Baseball's back. Yeehaw.